This is Virginia Key Beach, once fully removed from surrounding public beaches that were accessible only to whites. It was opened as a segregated public beach on August 8, 1945. Virginia Key Beach became known as a place where the black community could come together and enjoy the city's warm weather and views. The United States has a difficult history when it comes to giving black people access to places of leisure, including pools and bodies of water. Leisure was simply not something readily available to black families in the Miami of the early 20th century. This is Miss Roll, a lifelong resident of Miami's Overtown neighborhood. She has memories of her time spent on Virginia Key Beach as a child and spoke to us of the ways in which this city has changed. In Overtown, on a sunny day in December 2021, artist Kalita Rawls changed into a purple bathing suit and prepared for a day at the public pool at Gibson Park. The public pool, when it first opened around 1964, represented the dismantling of Jim Crow laws in Florida over several decades. Rawls has photographed Overtown residents of all ages for the upcoming exhibition. These photographs will be the source for the paintings that will be created in her signature style, as well as featuring natural waters in Rawls's practice for the very first time. This exhibition is an attempt to tell the story of a unique community right here in the heart of Miami that has experienced the consequences and downfalls of gentrification and urban renewal. This is a moment to hear from our neighbors, see their faces, hear their stories, and alongside them, build a better future.